We have seen about the various tests of fetal being, their introduction, indications and out of the test we have completed about the fetal movement counting and non-stress tests. Now continuing with that next will be the contraction stress test. So, in contraction stress test there will be evidence of hypoxia which is noted by change in fetal heart rate when the uterine contractions are induced by administration of oxytocin or nipple stimulation which also induces the release of oxytocin. The first oxytocin challenge test here we give intravenous oxytocin and we record the fetal heart rate because oxytocin induces uterine contractions. So, the abnormal test is said to be positive oxytocin challenge test. This shows repetitive fetal heart rate decelerations. Next will be the nipple stimulation test. Nipple stimulation can also be used to stimulate the uterine contractions. And during each uterine contraction, the fetal heart rate undergoes deceleration. And these decelerations are of three types, which are early deceleration, late deceleration, and variable deceleration. Early deceleration is usually symmetrical gradual so, that is symmetrical and gradual decrease and return of fetal heart rate corresponding to uterine contraction. So, here the nadir of deceleration occurs at the same time as the peak of the uterine contraction. So, if this is the deceleration of the fetal heart rate and if this is the uterine contraction, the lowermost point of the deceleration is called as the nadir which corresponds to the peak of the uterine contraction. This is called the early deceleration. So, this is nothing but the mirror image of each other. And this is seen more commonly in head compression. During uterine contraction. This is physiological. So now coming to the late deceleration. This is also usually symmetrical. Gradual. So, there is gradual decrease and return of fetal heart rate. Here the nadir of the deceleration occurs a little after the peak of the uterine contraction. So, there is a little delay in timing between the nadir and the peak of the uterine contraction. And these late decelerations are associated with uteroplacental insufficiency. And these are provoked by uterine contractions. Now coming to the variable deceleration. So here 
there is abrupt decrease in fetal heart rate irrespective of the uterine contraction. So, if the uterine contractions are like this, there will be abrupt decrease of the deceleration seen. So, here is the one nadir, second and third, this is the peak of uterine contraction and these are no way related. So, these are abrupt and hence these are variable decelerations. And in variable deceleration, the decrease in fetal heart rate is more than or equal to 15 beats per minute which last more than or equal to 15 seconds and less than 2 minutes in duration. So, these variable decelerations are found to be associated with cord compression. This indicates that there should be immediate intervention taken. So, this is about the non-stress test which is a very important test which shows the evidence of fetal hypoxia. So, in which we have oxytocin challenge test and the nipple stimulation test. The oxytocin challenge test is said to be positive when it is abnormal. So, this is when there is repetitive fetal heart rate deceleration seen on administering intravenous oxytocin. Next will be the nipple stimulation test. During uterine contractions, the fetal heart rate decreases. This is because the nipple stimulation may be used to stimulate the uterine contractions and because of which there is decreased fetal heart rate, this is known as deceleration. And these decelerations are of three types, early, late and variable. Early is when the nadir of the deceleration corresponds exactly to the peak of the uterine contraction. This is seen during head compression which is occurring at uterine contraction. Next will be late deceleration which is also symmetrical and gradual. Here the nadir of the deceleration occurs a little later than the peak of the uterine contraction. So, there is only little delay. This is seen in uteroplacental insufficiency. Next is variable. Variable deceleration there is abrupt decrease in fetal heart rate irrespective of the uterine contraction. So, there is a variable pattern variable distance between the peak and the nadir. So, here the decrease in fetal heart rate is more than or equal to 15 beats per minute and it lasts for more than or equal to 15 seconds and there is less than 2 minutes in duration. And the variable decelerations are found to be associated with cord compression. This is a very important topic. So, and we will see the others in our next video. Thank you.